Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well. So, a bit of a weird product to show you, if I'm honest, but I wanted to put this out because it really shows why you shouldn't judge a product by its cover. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And then when it comes to doing your products, you shouldn't judge a product based on your own opinion of it. And this is the value of having a product research software like Minia or Minia because it allows you to see the data behind the product and make a decision judged on the data. So, for the person watching this video that doesn't care what they're selling, as long as it sells and it's going to make them money, then this is a great product for you. Okay, so let me show you some data behind it first, then we'll take a look on Facebook and I'll show you what people are saying too. So this is 100% without a doubt a product that is selling right now. The audience at the moment is mainly from the US, a little bit in the UK and a little bit in Australia. They're not the only three countries on this planet, of course, so plenty of scope for scaling this into other countries. Let's look at the engagements too. This isn't a product that's died off. This is a product that's consistently grown since October 17th, which is a brilliant sign because it shows that there's consistent demand for it. And again, plenty of scope for scaling it. Let me show you the product. So this is the product. Now, Speaking honestly, this sort of thing, like I would never have this in my house, especially with children. Um, even before I had kids, I would never have this in my house. And if I come across this on AliExpress, I would probably think, like I wouldn't look twice at it. I'd probably look at it and think, oh, that's different, is the word. But I would never consider it as a product to dropship. But let me show you the engagements. Eight and a half thousand reactions, 3,000 comments, and 1.7 thousand shares. Just because this product isn't to my taste, and just because I wouldn't have it in my kitchen, that doesn't mean that there isn't somebody, there isn't a market for this product. And this is the approach you need to have with your product research. So many people will scroll through different platforms and think, I wouldn't buy that, I wouldn't buy that, I wouldn't buy that. Nobody cares whether you would buy it or not. It's whether there's a market for it. And in this case, there is. Look at this. I love this, love this, love this, love this, love this. So it's one thing for somebody to love something, right? But we want to know if people are actually buying it. We don't want to sell a product that people love. We want to buy a product that people buy. So here, Sarah, I love mine. So well made. It holds my smaller knives brilliantly. I bought this and quite a conversation piece. Let me see if I can find some other people. So many comments on this. Show this to my boyfriend. This is another one. Things just went to the top of my Xmas list. I've just ordered this. So as you can see, people are actually buying it too. So don't judge a product on its cover or don't judge a product based on your own perception or opinion of it. This is a product that you can drop ship to. I'm going to show you the website now and I'll show you the price on AliExpress. So let's get rid of this let's make me a little bit smaller because we don't want to see me we want to see the website this is the website like pretty decent website to be fair it's pretty basic like i don't want to take anything away from it but it's kind of like with a product like this you don't need to sell anybody on it other than the actual image like there's no text here how many people actually read through all of this text probably not many they just see the picture of the products and think that's awesome and then you have the FAQs. If I were these people, I would replace these or add additional, uh, what's the word, icons above with the FAQs from the comment section on Facebook. So people want to know how many knives does it hold, what size of knives does it hold, and how big is the, is the actual product. Put those three things at the top there so that when people land on the page, that nobody has to ask a question or be left confused about different functions or features of it you want to answer all of those up front i would actually have had it in the primary text too you don't want people asking questions trust me that's a bad thing because people are lazy they won't send you a message and if they do by the time you've got back to them are they going to come back onto the website and buy it probably not where you will find your success is from the impulse purchasers the people who see it want it buy it okay so they're selling this product for £32. If we come on to AliExpress, we can see it ranges. Most of these are free shipping. This one $8, this one $15. The, the normal price is about $15, which is give or take £10, £12. So at least £20 of profit in there, which is plenty of room for your cost per purchase on Facebook. So the numbers work out. It's quite a wow factor piece, isn't it? It's quite striking. Not to my taste, but it doesn't matter whether it's to my taste or not. The fact is this product is making money and the comment section on Facebook prove that. So key takeaways from this, 
pick a product that has a wow factor and pick a product that has evidence, non-disputable evidence like this, that people are actually buying it. And also don't just pick something because you like it, pick it because there's a market for it. Okay, cool. Before you go, I just want to let you know about my real dropshipping community. If you're not familiar with it yet, um, let, rather than me tell you about it, I'll show you. Look, we have over 11 pages of people who are happy with the community and seeing some awesome results like James. Um, he's actually over £1,500 in sales now. We have Hamad here who has our t-shirt on because we have free giveaways and when people reach certain milestones and things like that, they get free t-shirts. We have Yoji doing over £1,000 sorry, profit per day, hitting 4k in sales or 3.7k in sales lots and lots of people really happy with the community um, so if you're not familiar with it yet check out that top link in the description below and you'll be able to see all the information the main thing i want to draw your attention to though is the fact that it's free for seven days so it's completely no risk you can cancel any time um, but also this here so you do get access to one-to-one -one mentorship elements inside for what probably costs less than your phone bill each month this one here so the free personalized guidance if you're feeling stuck at the moment in your dropshipping journey, I want you to join the community for free and submit this form here, okay? It, you just put your email in, you put your name in, and then put your question in, and 48 hours later, I will send you a personalized video message with clear next steps. So if you are stuck or unsure, say your situation with me, and I will get you a personalized video advice with the clear next steps of what you need to do to get you the ball rolling and essentially unstuck you so you can get towards achieving your goals if that sounds good check out that top link in the description below and hopefully see you on the inside thanks